So in today's City Jobs installment, we're down here at Fort Tabor, at the Fort Tabor Community Center specifically, uh, to check out Camp Kennedy, uh, which is part of the Parks and Recreation Department summer program. Camp Kennedy's been around for a long time, and many of you probably remember uh, going to Camp Kennedy as a kid. Uh, it's still going strong. Uh, we'll take a look at it today, uh, but you'll see that the kids are are here, they're not on iPads, they're not playing video games, they're not watching TV, they're learning here, uh, and they're also having a lot of fun. So let's go check it out. Good morning, boys and girls. All right, you ready? Listen, who's having fun at camp? Are you guys learning things too? Yeah! What's uh, and, and nobody's playing video games here, right? No. no! No! What do you mean you are? No, you're not. Yeah. No TV here and you're having lots of fun, right? Yeah! We just video games. And you guys like your counselors, right? Yeah. Yes? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Listen, have a great summer. I, you guys are off tomorrow because it's the 4th of July, right? All right, I want you all to have a safe and happy 4th of July tomorrow. It's our nation's day of independence, and so that's something to celebrate. I hope everybody you know, salutes the flag when they go by it tomorrow. It's very important to honor uh, our nation's uh, uh, independence day because it's, uh, we're lucky to be Americans, right? Right, guys? Right? Listen, have a great time this summer. Thanks for welcoming me today. Even you guys were taunting me out on the dodgeball field uh, earlier. I, I, uh, I still appreciate, uh, yes, you, you too. Uh, I really appreciate the opportunity to come down and, and check out all the good stuff that's going on. I want to thank all your counselors and everybody else who makes it happen. Uh, you guys are doing a great job, so keep it up. You're doing great things for our kids. Thanks, everybody. So I'm here today with Mary Raposa, the Director of Parks and Recreation, City of New Bedford. Um, Mary, uh, we're down here at Camp Kennedy at Fort Tabor, and uh, we've got a lot going on in the city in the way of recreation and other activities. Can you tell us a little bit about what we have going on, not just here at Camp Kennedy, but just generally around the city during the summer? Absolutely. Um, well, here at Camp Kennedy at Fort Tabor, we have um, eight weeks of summer um, day program and um, the kids are having a great time and they'll get to see lots of that today. The um, other things we have going on that are pretty exciting is we have the Play in the Park uh, summer food program again and that's at every playground and park in the city from 10 to 2 daily and um, they're staffed with young people from the city who are doing activities like fitness, arts and crafts, games, as well as um, serving lunch and snacks to anyone under 18 that shows up. And uh, so that's lots of fun. We also, this year we have the brand new splash pad at Brooklyn Park, and I'm sure that's yeah. gonna be really, really popular. Oh, the kids love that. Oh yeah. And the, um, we still have the splash pad down at uh, Riverside, as right. well as the one at Ben Rose. And we've got another one coming in. We do? At Ashley, you didn't know that? No. Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's it's great. being built. We have oh, another splash fantastic. pad coming in. Yeah, so it's terrific. So we'll make four splash pads in the city, right? right? By my count. Yeah. And then but, of course we have the two great beaches. We have East Beach and West Beach, and we have the popular beach down here at Fort Tabor yeah. as well. Well, that's the thing. Yeah, when people think about New Bedford, they don't think first uh, about beaches. They think about our history. They think about you know our being a city. But people generally don't associate beaches with cities, but we've got great beaches here. We really do. We've got great beaches. And they they both, you know, East Beach and West Beach have different characters, so you even have variety in beaches. So yeah. that's a nice thing. Yeah, they're nice beaches, and yeah. uh, city residents get a great deal on them. They do. Uh, Five dollars for a season pass. Boy, you can't beat that. You can't beat that anywhere. You absolutely yeah. can't. No, it's a, it's a good, it's a really good deal. 
a nice beach. We got uh, in Fort Tabor, one of the one of the most spectacular public spaces anywhere in the Northeast. Uh, really, when you walk out to the point, you have a panoramic view of Buzzards Bay. Um, if you think of the whole South Coast coastline, there really isn't anywhere else you can go to to take in uh, the water like that, to take in a view like that. Um, so tell us a little bit about uh, Camp Kennedy. Uh, how long it's been around? Um, uh, how long does it run in the summertime? What does it cost? And so forth. Okay. The um, Kennedy Summer Day Program has been around for decades. In fact, we have some children in the program whose parents participated when they right. were youngsters. So it's been around for a while. Well, this year it runs from July 1st through August 23rd and it's four two-week sessions and there is space still available in all of those sessions. The, um, the cost is a really low price. It's $135 for a two-week session per child and that includes transportation from anywhere in the city as well as uh, breakfast and lunch. And the, um, we also offer scholarships. So if that's um, unaffordable for some families, we, um, we can offer them a scholarship, in which case it would be $70 for the two-week session. So you encourage people to apply, even if they think that they can't afford it for absolutely, the summertime. Absolutely, absolutely. We also have um, a small number, but we do have some camperships that have been offered to us by various agencies. And so some children have, are here on a full scholarship. And how late into the summer does it run? All the way through August 23rd. August 23rd, so almost right up to the end. Right up to the end, yeah. yeah. Um, and just in, in general, we'll talk to Kai Antunes in a moment about some of the details around the, uh, the programs, but um, uh, one thing that I uh, wondered about is uh, just in, in general, how, how are the uh, activities set up? In other words, uh, there, we, we do some arts and crafts, there's some sports, there's some other things. What's the general idea? Really, the general idea is to offer variety so that every child, if say maybe you're not really into dodgeball, but you're going to have an opportunity to do some, some arts and crafts, or you'll have the opportunity to go to the beach. When it's nice out, they, they usually end the day at the beach. We also do um, some field trips. We do, they get to go to the playground. We're going to be doing some historical tours with the military museum. So there's a really big variety of activities that happen during the, the program. And you mentioned transportation a moment ago. Mm -hmm. So, um, so uh, is it transportation by SIRTA bus or is it by uh, school bus? How does, it's how does it work? It's school bus. We, we've got a contract with the school bus and we have four different routes. So anywhere in the city, we'll be able to um, accommodate. Yeah, that's family. great. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really easy and it's such a fantastic public space down here. We have, we have this facility, right, the, uh, the community center, which is, which is a pretty new facility, very clean, very light and airy. Um, and then there are playing fields here, uh, there are beaches. I mean, it's an easy thing for, uh, for kids to get to and, and to enjoy. It sure is, yeah, and, and the kids really do enjoy it. Now, how many kids uh, are you serving this year? Well, right now we're averaging about 80 per session, mm -hmm. and um, we can accommodate, we're comfortably about 100. So we do have space in every session still. Yeah. And you employ uh, summer counselors? We do. Um, they are all, there's no volunteers, they're all paid staff. There um, are two directors, the director and assistant director are professional educators. They've both done this for more than one year. And all of our counselors are either um, experienced with children in this type of setting or um, some of them are actually current students in college studying education yeah. so really really great staff and there are a number of them have come back from prior years yes that's yeah. correct yeah all right so Mary here's the most important question of the day okay do I get to keep the shirt? Yes, absolutely. All right, good. Please I was do. a little nervous about this. I know, this. it's a great right, shirt. Good. Well, <laughs> listen, well, thank you for, uh, for all that you do for the city. There's a lot of great recreational activities that the city offers. Uh, we should encourage people to get to their closest park. The park we have a great park system in the city, historic parks, but parks that also work very well in neighborhoods, great beaches, great summer camps, the summer lunch program. We, actually, let's talk about the summer lunch okay. program just for a second so everybody knows about it. So what's, what's, the, what's the idea behind the summer lunch program? Well, unfortunately, we have some children in our city who are at, um, have food insecurity. And so the summer food program is a, a program that addresses that need. And it literally is in every park and playground. So every child in the city can, can get there, even if they have to walk. They're all within walking distance. And every day from 10 to, to
attended to. They can get lunch and a snack, and you know, we're just hoping that the, the children that need the program, as well as everyone else, will be there and take advantage of it. So for our viewing audience, that's um, Brooklawn, Riverside, Hazelwood, Buttonwood, and Ashley. And, Ashley. Yep. and we're literally in every playground as well. That's so, yeah. from, from 10 to 2 every from day. From 10 to 2. The idea day. is that uh, during the school year, um, kids who um, can't afford lunch are on the school lunch program, but in the summertime, out of school, they don't have a, a program to fill the gap, and that's what this program is about. And that's what this program does, yeah. yeah. That's right. Well, great. It's a very important program. It, the kids learn more, obviously, and, and can exercise more and uh, enjoy their summers more with, with the full belly of good food. So That's right. And as I said, it is staffed and there is programming, so it's also a safe place to send your kids if right. you're looking for something for them to do in, during the day. Mary, thanks a lot. Thank you. Oh no! Ah. Uh oh! You're on the list! You, you guys were the two taunting me, weren't you? Get him. Ah. Uh, well, you know, I think I'm having way too much fun. I don't think I want to go back to the office. I want to go back to summer camp. This is about as much fun as I've had uh, in the last uh, last 18 months. No, really, this is this is a great time. Obviously, the kids are having a lot of fun getting outside on a great summer's day. It doesn't get any better than this. Oh, get that guy. They're out. Hello, someone throw it at me. Oh, she got me. I'm out. Nice shot. Everybody give me a high five. High five. Is he going to work on it? I'm going to go. All right, so we're here right now with Kai Antunes, who's the director of the Kennedy Summer Day Program. She just corrected me a second ago, told me it's no longer called Camp Kennedy. So I'm not the only one who makes that mistake, right, Kai? Correct. All right, so uh, so tell us a little bit about uh, how the camp is run. Take us take us through a day at the Kennedy Summer Day Program. Okay, um, so the day for the kids starts really early um, because a lot of them are bused in. So our buses start around 7.15. Um, they arrive here for 8 and we serve them breakfast. Um, and they sit amongst their groups, they can play board games, they eat. Um, and then they transition into different activities during the day. Um, each activity is about a 45 minute block where they do um, sports games like dodgeball and football that you'll see, um, craft projects. We have access to the beautiful beach here. They go swimming. Um, and we also have different programs that come in like the art mobile through the city, the book mobile. Um, so the kids are very active with an array of different activities. And so you, because you have the community center right here, you can do uh, all sorts of activities on a rainy day, right? Correct. Um, so we have a separate classroom where they can do different art projects. Um, they can do a lot of team builders, uh, dancing, karaoke, and then we have the big function hall where they can do um, a lot of inside sports. They really enjoy the parachute and things like that. Yeah. And then we um, do an end of the day movie sometimes of you know movies that are out and that the kids really enjoy watching. And the sports they play outside or, or what? Um, everything from soccer to yep. dodgeball, football, steal the bacon. Uh, we have steal the bacon. Steal the bacon. How come I haven't heard of that one? Oh, it's so much fun and it's funny. Is there a professional league? Probably, probably. <laughs> Um, but it's really fun. We have two teams and they have to try and steal the ribbon, which is the bacon in the center. Wow, so it's kind of a mix of uh, tag, but mm, I don't know, some kind of competitive sport. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cross between tag and like professional wrestling, maybe? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sure. All right. I can picture this. So uh, at, at, what time, at what time does uh, camp end? Um, camp ends at 3 o'clock. 
Yeah. Um, and at the end of the day, we bring them in all for 2.30. We clean up our, you know, our space. Yeah. And we do a raffle at the end of the day to uh, reward kids who have showed good sportsmanship, have been a role model to others, and who have really been exemplifying the behaviors that we like to see here. That's great. Kennedy. So that leads me to my next question. That is, what, what are the benefits that kids get out of the program? Um, well, kids uh, start as early as five, and some of them have not been to school yet. So this is their prelude to kindergarten. They really get to interact with others. Some of them they'll be going to school with. Um, so that's one perk. Um, kids get to interact with other kids throughout the city. Yeah. So if they live in the South End, they're interacting with kids in the North End yeah. to really create that bond and that friendship. Um, and then we serve meals here, and that's really important for a lot of our youth here um, to make sure that they are fed and things like that. So that's also another perk of the so, Kennedy program. So, so kids get a full day of activities. They get they get a, a meal. Um, two meals. Two meals. Sportsmanship uh, and teamwork are cultivated. Um, good behavior is cultivated, but most of all, they got they have some structure in the middle of the day. Absolutely. Probably for parents, the most important thing is they go home really tired, right? Yes. That's uh, parents <laughs> love that. Yep. Um, that's great. Now, so uh, tell me, what? So, how many years have you been the director? Um, this is my second summer as the director of the Kennedy Summer Day Program. Yep. And, and what do you do when you're not the director? Um, well, I've worked at numerous um, organizations throughout the city, um, from Smiles Mentoring to Citizen Schools, um, the YMCA, Upward Bound at UMass Dartmouth, and now I'm here. Yeah. Now, what's? Uh, tell me what, what the uh, what the craziest thing you've you've seen out here, the, the funniest thing you've seen kids do out here? So um, well, start. I think the funniest thing, um, which may not be funny for everyone, is just watching the little ones, actually, yeah. um, because they are just so innocent and small, and they need help with everything, so that is really, you know, a funny thing to watch, because they just need that guidance and that structure, um, and they are really funny, just with the things that they say. That's great, yeah, they're just lots of fun to watch all the time. Um, now, uh, the camp goes until August 23rd, right? Yes. So there's still time for people to sign up? Absolutely. Yep. Um, there are applications right down here at the community center. Yep. Um, families can come in, get an application and apply, and then they can also, at the same time, see what our program looks like in action. Yep. Um, if they have any you know, concerns about sending a yep. younger child and things like that. Or they can go down to Hillman Street, the Park and Recreation Department, and yep. get an application there. And what, can they go online, too, on the city website? Absolutely. So we can do that as well. So uh, it's very easy to learn about the camp and their financial aid. Uh, there's financial aid available for families who can't afford yep. uh, to pay for their kids, right? Correct. Um, so it's a, it's a terrific program. And I think uh, it's been around for a long time. It's evolved into something more than a traditional uh, summer camp. It's really, uh, it's really a program that's geared toward giving kids an opportunity to, to get fit, to get away from the iPad and video games and TV, get exactly. outside. You don't see any you don't see any electronic devices here and that's a that's a great thing. I mean, we adults almost every adult I, I talk to laments uh, the fact that kids are on electronic devices all the time oh, yeah. uh, and aren't interacting with friends as much and aren't exercising and yet down here we have a uh, full opportunity to exercise and to have fun and mm -hmm. the way we remember as kids. Uh, without the interference of, uh, uh, of electronic devices. So that, to me, was one of the things that struck me as I was out here. Absolutely. Uh, but uh, it's a great program, and we encourage people to, uh, uh, to uh, sign their, uh, their kids or their grandchildren up for it because I think they'll mm -hmm. get a lot out of it. So, Absolutely. Kai, thanks a lot for Thank all you, that Mayor. you do, Thank and we really you. appreciate it. I hope the rest of the summer goes real well. Thank you so much for joining us today. Great, thanks. That was lots of fun. Thank you.
Uh, so we're here with Mel Medeiros, who is a camp counselor at uh, here at the Kennedy Summer Day Program. And uh, Mel, uh, take us um, take us through your day here as a camp counselor. How do you start off with the kids, and 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 where do you go from there? All right. Well, basically, the kids get off the bus. We give them breakfast, and we usually have morning activities, which consists of arts and crafts. We have dodgeball, um, soccer, the basics, and then. We try to keep them in and out, in and out, to have a variety of things to do. And we have lunchtime around noon, and then we go to the beach after lunch, and then after that we kind of do like a wind down activity, which is usually basketball or board game, just to calm them down a little bit. Yeah, and and the uh, the age of the kids that that you uh, supervise are, are what? Age eight. Yeah, so that's what, like second grade. Yep. Second grade. Yep. And so for kids that age, what's the most important thing for them to get out of it? experience? Um, to work on their athletic skills I think is really important. Um, writing skills, reading skills, we try to incorporate all that into our activities that we do and basically just bonding with the students, engaging with different like I said activities and just working together as a whole is really important. So tell me a little bit, so we, we see the kids playing dodgeball over there Yep. Uh, and we've seen them play other sports. Uh, you mentioned reading and, and writing. What tell what what's uh, what kind of instruction do they get here? Um, well, we also have the art mobile that comes yeah. in, and they give them reading instruction. Sometimes you also have the book mobile that yeah. gives them opportunity to pick their own books, and we can read it as a group together. They read it to each other. You know, different activities like that. And sometimes when we have, um, for example, arts and crafts projects, it comes with instructions that we allow them to read. And in the beginning of camp, we had rules, and we had each student individually read a different rule so they understand them. It's great. Yeah. It's great. And, uh, and are there some kids who come for the whole summer? Yep. And but most of them come for about how long? What's the average? Uh, well we have four sessions here. It's, each session consists of two weeks and basically we do get each student for all the four weeks unless of course there's a first session where students are on vacation and also the last session where there's also students that go on vacation. But Now this isn't your first summer here? Nope, this is my second year. It's the second year. Yep. Okay. And what do you do? when you're not a camp counselor? Um, well, I go to Bridgewater State, and I'm a statistician for the intramurals program, and I'm also a office representative at the gym, so. Okay, so you got a lot going on. Yep, I do. And which year are you in? I'm gonna be a junior. Oh, so you're halfway done then. Halfway done. Excellent. Yep. Excellent, all right, so tell us, what's the, uh, uh, what, what's, what's the best part of the job? What do you like the most? Definitely interacting with the kids and just bonding with them. As you witnessed, it's right. the, only the third day and they're already jumping on my back and yeah. hugging me. And it's just, it's really rewarding. It's a good feeling to know that they're really enjoying the camp and they're just liking everything as a whole. Yeah, the thing that struck me is that the kids really like being here. Mm -hmm. uh, they like getting out on uh, the beach. They like you know, the dodgeball, they like being inside. Everybody's very enthusiastic. Definitely. And it's, uh, you know, if you think about, um, you know, for a lot of kids, they don't have the opportunity to uh, to get out uh, and do something that's structured like this, to interact with responsible adults. Uh, you know, this is the service that uh, you guys are providing here is really invaluable. It is. Um, what's the uh, What's the funniest story you have from Camp Kennedy? Funniest story? Wow, <laughs> that caught me off guard. Um, let's see. I was going to put you on the spot. <laughs> I don't know. We have. I, I guess last year. One of the favorite things the kids would do was as soon as we got to the beach, they would all climb on me and tackle me to go into the water. And within five minutes, I was soaked from head to toe. And That's a funny story. Them. Oh, yeah. Always I mean, jumping on my back. If, yeah. yeah. If I'd been there, I would have been laughing. <laughs> well, good. Well, listen, Mel, um, you know, we really appreciate what you do here. Hey, thank and, you. Uh, you're doing a lot of good for kids in ways that, you know, you might, uh, you, you might not recognize immediately, but they're really laying the building blocks for long-term success for these eight year old kids that you work with. So, so keep doing what you're All doing. All right, thank really you very much. All thank right. you. Thanks, Mel. Thank you. So we're wrapping up now at the Kennedy Summer Day Program. And one of the things that strikes me about the place is that it's a great opportunity for kids to learn outside of a classroom. So much of what we learn as kids takes place not, not in the classroom, not in front of a book, uh, but outside playing with other kids in a cooperative way. Uh, getting an opportunity to do some arts and crafts uh, and to, uh, to interact with uh, responsible adults and that's all here. Uh, it, this, is, this camp has been in place for a long time. It used to be called Camp Kennedy uh, and it's served literally thousands of New Bedford kids over the years. It's still serving them in very important ways as, you, as you've seen over the course of the show. Uh, and it's a program that 
we think makes the community stronger by uh, giving kids a structured opportunity to learn, uh, to exercise, to get away from the television and the Xbox, uh, and to interact with other kids in, in a productive way. So, so this is a great program that's been going on in the city for a long time, uh, and it continues to be a success. Uh, it succeeds at uh, developing young kids, uh, hopefully into responsible adults down the line. Um, and it's, and uh, we're very pleased to, uh, to continue it. Uh, our Parks and Recreation Department uh, offers many uh, activities over the course of the summer, not just uh, here at Camp Kennedy. And I encourage everybody to take advantage of uh, what the city has to offer in the summertime. As you can see here at Fort Tabor, it's a great place just to be outdoors. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for our next episode of City Jobs. I first started skating with my friend. He had an extra board and then he just gave it to me and I've been skating ever since. Well, when I don't learn a trick and I have my mind set on something and I'm not getting what I want, I just keep going for it until I get it right. She didn't go to college, so she wants me to experience that whole thing. And so I could end up getting like a good job. Ah! I think to get into college, I'll have to be determined. Just like when I want to get a new trick, and skating's helped me realize I've got what it takes. I look up to a lot of the older heads, you know, the, the innovators, the heads of the art movements of the past. They kept it really edgy and like a lot of the Latin American muralists and Latin American artists and um, their styles are very unique and new to their time. You know, somewhat controversial, but that's who I look up to mainly. Personally, I'm very excited about going to college. It's something new and it's something different than what I'm used to. I'm definitely going to be a little out of my element, but um, that's what makes it so exciting is that, you know, it's something fresh. Well, there's so many opportunities that I think I could miss out on if I didn't go, you know? Getting into college takes planning and vision. You know, it's just like when I take a brick wall and turn it into a canvas for my art. Paintings help me realize that I've got what it takes. Any questions? Uh, what kind of service plan does this come with? Unlimited. Can I keep my same phone number? Absolutely. How do I change the ringtone? Just hook it up to your computer. Does it have a camera? What's the warranty? Does it come in silver? Can I put my party shuffle on this? Does it have a 3.5 millimeter headset jack? You sell a lot of these? It's the one I carry. You ever get those phantom vibrations in your pocket? Any questions? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Ask questions. For the 10 questions everyone should know, go to ahrq.gov.